This exciting journey will take us 300 light years away from Earth. We'll make several stops along the way to see one of the most beautiful planets ever, a dark pink planet, the color of Japanese cherry blossoms, a planet closely resembling our Jupiter. And finally, we'll see the whole exoplanet system that astronomers have had the chance to photograph. These are the first exoplanets we're actually able to see. Please support this video by giving a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. 57 light years away from Earth, in the equatorial constellation Virgo, one can see a bright pink spot. This is Gliese 504, a yellow dwarf star that belongs to spectral class G, much like our Sun, and has a mass equal to 1.22 solar masses. This star has a planet called GJ 504b. It's the one that steals the most attention. The distance between the planet and its parent star is quite long, about eight times greater than from the Sun to Jupiter. At such a distance, the planet is poorly lit by its star. Nonetheless, the temperature in the upper atmosphere there is about 237 degrees. This can be explained by the young age of GJ 504b, which is only 160 million years old. For comparison purposes, our solar system is about 4.6 billion years old. It is estimated that GJ 504b is four times heavier than Jupiter. According to 2016 data, its radius is 0.96 of that of Jupiter. The exoplanet and its star are separated by a huge gap of 43.5 astronomical units. Just to keep this in perspective, this is equivalent to the distance between the Sun to Pluto. This comes as a surprise, because there are no such massive bodies at such a great distance from their star in our solar system. It still puzzles scientists to think about how the GJ 504b ended up so far away. In 2011 to 2012, astronomers working on the SEEDS project managed to capture images of GJ 504b and combine them into one image. It shows colored components in the near-infrared spectrum of the planet, orbiting a star similar to the Sun. The coronagraph subdues the bright light of the central star. The intensity of the radiation passing through the area is shown on the left, while the signal-to-noise ratio is on the right, showing even the weakest signal the system can detect. But there is another opinion regarding this object. In 2017, scientists published a study where they reassessed the fundamental properties of GJ504 and its chemical composition. It has been established that the star is actually much older than previously thought. The study also allowed us to revise the data on the mass of GJ504b, presuming it's heavier than we thought, which means that we are dealing with a brown dwarf and not a giant planet. As the journey takes us further, we will see a Jupiter-like gas giant, 51 Iridani b, at about 100 light years from the Sun. This exoplanet is twice as heavy as Jupiter. It orbits its parent star, F-type 51 Iridani, in 32 years, and the distance to the star is 12 astronomical units. The discovery of 51 Iridani b was announced in 2015. The planet is about 20 million years old. Being relatively young, 51 Iridani b smolders at 427 degrees Celsius. However, it's still more than 3 million times less bright than its stellar host. In 2014, researchers captured a near-infrared image with the Gemini Planet Imager showing the Jupiter-like 51 Iridani b. The bright central star 51 Iridani is masked in the center of the image to reveal an exoplanet that is a million times fainter. The Gemini Planet Imager utilizes an integral field spectrograph, an instrument capable of taking images at multiple wavelengths of light simultaneously. The left side of the animation shows the GPI images of the nearby star 51 Iridani in order of increasing wavelength from 1.5 to 1.8 microns. The images have been processed to suppress the light from 51 Iridani, revealing a faint exoplanet. 
The bright regions to the left and right of the masked star are artifacts from the image processing algorithm and can be distinguished from real astrophysical signals based on their brightness and position as a function of wavelength. The spectrum of 51 Iridani b on the right side of the animation shows how the brightness of the planet varies as a function of wavelength. If the atmosphere was entirely transmissive, the brightness would be approximately constant as a function of wavelength. This is not the case for 51 Iridani b, the atmosphere of which contains both water and methane. See the Jupiter-like planet orbiting its sun-like star, 51 Iridani. So, judging by the chemical composition of the atmosphere, 51 Iridani b is the first known planet that almost completely resembles Jupiter. In 2010, following many years of observations, astrophysicists first filmed a video of four planets moving around the central star HR 8799, located inside the western edge of the large Pegasus Square. The star, with the first recorded exoplanetary system, is only 60 million years old. It belongs to the main sequence of spectral type A5V and is 128 light years away from Earth. In November 2008, a team of scientists discovered three planets orbiting HR 8799 using infrared observations. The discovery of the fourth gas giant planet in the system was announced as early as 2010. In the same year, scientists managed to take a picture of the spectrum of one of the exoplanets called HR 8799c using the VLT telescope based in Chile. This was the first time this happened in the history of planetary science. All four open planets are gas giants. The orbital radius of the planet closest to the star is 51 AU, while the farthest has a radius of 68 AU. The orbital motion of the planets is counterclockwise. The four planets are still hot due to their young age. The mass of the farthest exoplanet, HR 8799b, is now estimated at 3.5 Jupiter masses, the other three weighing 5 Jupiter masses. For seven years, astronomers Jason Wang and Christian Moroy have been directly observing the orbits of four planets in the HR 8799 system. And finally, they managed to make a unique animation based on a series of images. According to Jason Wang's description, the planets may well be in an orbital resonance relationship. In this case, the orbital period of each planet in the system corresponds to others with an almost exact 1 to 2 to 4 to 8 ratio. The black circle in the center of the image blocks out the star's blinding light to make the planets visible. HR 8799 is known as the first exoplanetary system to be captured in a detailed spectral resolution image, which is sufficient to calculate their orbital speed and understand the mechanism of gas giant formation. Now, let's move 300 light years from Earth to the Carina constellation, where we'll find a young star, HD 95086. It's a type A star, which is only 17 million years old. It is being orbited by another unusual gas giant exoplanet called HD 95086b. The exoplanet is five times heavier than Jupiter and has a complete orbital period of 328.8 years. It's 55.7 AU away from its parent star, which is twice the distance from the Sun to Neptune. The discovery of HD 95086b was announced in 2013. The planet was discovered by direct observation using the Very Large Telescope. HD 95086b was the first least mass exoplanet to be directly imaged in 2012 as a faint dot next to HD 95086. In the photo taken by the researchers, we see the sky of the southern part of the Carina constellation and the star HD 95086. Just right next to it is a gas giant, the planet HD 95086 b. Using a differential technique to enhance the contrast between HD 95086 b and the bright central star, 
the scientists got a clear picture. To improve the image of the faint exoplanet, the star has been removed from the frame. You can see its position marked in the lower left of the photo. The blue circle shows the size of Neptune's orbit in the solar system for comparison purposes. Thus, studying the formation pattern of HD 95086b at such a significant distance from the star indicates that the planet could have formed both as a result of gravitational instability in the protoplanetary disk and as a result of core accretion. In the case of the latter, it ended up in its current orbit as a result of migrating from the inner part of the planetary system, where theoretically there should be at least one more giant planet in a closer orbit. It's worth noting that all these planets were discovered using a direct method and are very large. It is believed that some of them may not be planets, but rather small stars, such as brown dwarfs. And only time will tell us for sure. Stay tuned for even more interesting facts about other stars, exoplanets, and the mysteries of the universe. Share your thoughts in the comments on what planets you think are the most interesting and subscribe to our channel. And of course, don't forget to like this video so that we can see how many space lovers are out there.